right, started the evening off with some silence, took a spin, DoorDash came through, $5.25 for 5.2 miles. That's an absolute no. I may have considered the $5.25 if it was maybe a mile, mile and a half, but the miles are just way too high for this $5.25. So that was a decline. Then Spark decided to come through with a decent order, $12.91 for 3.6 miles. Now I do have to do some shopping. It is a hotter day. They do want two items. Can you take a guess what people are wanting at this time? <laughs> Water, of course, water. So I got to pick up two of the 40 count packs of water. So my only thing is hopefully Walmart has it. We're going to go find out. I'm going to go ahead over there and uh, hopefully they have the water, get it dropped off and get these wheels back to moving. We're heading to Walmart. All right, we have arrived, so I'm gonna tap confirm, and it's gonna load the aisle, which I think I know where it is. And preview, and start shopping. So I got two of them, hopefully they're here. And uh, we're gonna go to A5, section three, and uh, get them and get checked out. All right, guys, just as I was afraid of, I don't know if you guys could see all this, but a lot of the shelves are missing water and this is where my water is supposed to be down here and it is just bare they have a smaller pack so i'm going to see um if the substitution will accept this i would think so um so yeah we're gonna find out all right so i tapped can't find oops let me go uh well let me go back oh no um so I tapped can't find item and it says new location. So it gave me a different aisle. So maybe they have it somewhere else. I'm gonna go to this different aisle and hopefully it's there. Uh, maybe they have it in two sections. So we're gonna head over there. All right guys, so I just talked to an associate and she said it's right to the right when you come through the entrance, which is right there. Of course, I'm not looking to the right when I come in. I'm going to the aisle that I thought I was. So hopefully it's here and it looks like it is here yay okay so i'm gonna grab two of these let me just confirm i'm pretty sure it's the 4t that they wanted and it's the great value cool so i'm gonna grab two of these and we're gonna get checked out but i was like oh my gosh you know i, I wouldn't be surprised if they were out of water but it looks like they moved it and uh, the aisle number changed on me when i said i couldn't find it so glad it's here gonna grab it and let's get out of here all right, so I'm going to tap continue and it's loading. It's complete. We found what they're looking for. Continue next. Scan the QR code. Okay. And it does it. <laughs> All right, we're good to go and uh, the water's loaded up, so we're going to head out. All right, guys, found the water, thankfully. Like I showed you, they put it by the front door, probably because a lot of people are buying water right now. They are heavy. Just one of those things is super heavy. Having two of them in my cart, there is some weight on my cart, and I'm thinking to myself, thank goodness I am not delivering to an apartment. Like I've said before, a lot of our apartments here have stairs, and um, I wouldn't have taken it if I had to deliver that up to, you know, second, third, fourth floor because it is hot and those things are super heavy. Um, I am delivering to a house, but in the notes it says deliver to camper. Not sure exactly what that's about. We're gonna find out when we get there. Um, but we have eight minutes, 3.6 miles, we're on our way. All right, guys, water's dropped off. I had an issue with my camera. It didn't get the recording, unfortunately. So I pull up and the house looks empty like nobody's living there. But I see the trailer off to the side in the yard, like up against a fence, but there is like a path. And so I call the phone number because I need a signature. And the lady that answers says she ordered water for somebody that's in the trailer. She says they're there, just knock, they'll come out and give you your signature. So I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to have you on the phone while I try to reach them. Anyways, they did come out. I got a signature, the water's dropped off, but one of those funky situations, I wish there was more transparency. 
because one, it doesn't look like the house is being lived in and then there's a trailer. I'm delivering to a trailer on the property. Now I do know people do live, you know, on people's properties, on trailers. I've seen that before. Just a funky situation. You know what I'm saying? I wish I had more transparency. Um, it's dropped off and all is good. But again, I wish I had more transparency, just kind of a, a funky situation. Anyways, <laughs> if I knew that I was delivering to a trailer on somebody's property, I may have not accepted it. Um, it is what it is. It's just kind of a funky situation. It's done though. It is done. <laughs> Let me know if you have delivered to kind of a funky situation like that before. Um, yeah. Anyways, I ended up getting an Uber Eats order, $6.06 .06 for 3.5 miles. I am here right now. They're usually pretty good, so the order should be ready or close to being ready. Let's get these wheels back to moving because I am ready to uh, make some money. All right, thank you. You guys have a good night. Hi, I have a pickup for Uber Eats. Julian? Yes. Perfect, thank you. Me too. All right, order was ready, which is always awesome. Customer, six minutes, 2.4 miles. Customer did leave a note to please place to the side of the screen door. And I've mentioned this before, when we deliver, you wanna make sure you're not placing food in front of the screen door. If they do have one, if you have room off to the side or away from it, um, because you don't want the customer opening their screen door, or pushing their screen door and their food knocking over. Um, I know I wouldn't be happy if my food was placed in front of the screen door. I've had that happen with packages. Um, and luckily they were just packages, you can kind of push it, um, but you don't wanna do that with anything. So let's go get their food dropped off. It smells super good. I'm sure they're waiting. All right, guys, orders dropped off. Customer had a chair next to their screen door, so I just put their order right there. Sure, they will appreciate that. That way they can get out and it's not in front of their screen door. So after I drop the order off, I'm heading back towards where all of my restaurants are. It's quiet. I do get an order from DoorDash, but it's an order that had to be declined. $4 for two pickups for 6.6 .6 miles. The pay is really low. That's like $2 per order. And um, for 6.6 .6 miles, that's just a backwards order. Miles are way higher than the pay. So that's a decline. And then I got an offer for $9.05 for 3.2 miles from Uber Eats. That is definitely worth taking. It's for Wendy's. I am here right now. This Wendy's is usually pretty good. We're gonna go in there. Order's usually ready or close to being ready. Um, let's get these wheels back to moving. W. Is it both of these bags for Clint? Yes. Awesome. Cool. Thank you. Of course. Yeah, we're good. Thank you. Order was ready, which is awesome. And the drink was there, which is even better. <laughs> Love it when everything's ready to go. So customers, five minutes, 1.9 miles. Now they are in an apartment, but they left some detailed notes, which again, us drivers can really appreciate. It helps, especially if the GPS is off or it doesn't lead us to the right place. Sometimes it'll take us to the front office. So we're gonna go get this dropped off and uh, keep these wheels to moving. Wendy's orders all dropped off. GPS actually took me right to the customer's building, but I could see how it could be confusing if 
you know if you're using a different GPS and it didn't take you there so very thoughtful of the customer to leave some detailed notes so after I dropped that order off Uber Eats decided they wanted to send me an offer that I couldn't refuse I accepted $13.07 for 7.5 miles it's actually gonna take me in the direction that I want to go works out absolutely perfect gonna keep the wheels to move but I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys right here always appreciate you guys riding along with me and of course if you guys did enjoy the ride along do give the video a like consider subscribing if you haven't already and i'll be seeing you guys on the next one bye guys